Hold on to your hearts because today, March 23rd, something serious is about to go down. It's like the universe has its eyes on you and there's a punishment looming over the horizon. But here's the kicker. It's all because of something you did. Yeah, you heard that right. The big guy upstairs, God himself, is sending a message loud and clear, demanding you to open this up immediately. What did you do and what's coming your way? Buckle up because we're about to find out together. Before moving forward, affirm your belief in God by commenting yes. Keep in mind, our existence is influenced by what we receive, but the true meaning of life lies in what we give. A humble $40 contribution can offer sustenance for a child for several days. Are you ready? To burn with desire and keep quiet about it is the greatest punishment we can bring on ourselves, says the father. The consequence for a liar is not merely that others disbelieve them, but rather that they become incapable of trusting anyone else. Similarly, a person with a conscience suffers from the acknowledgement of their wrongdoing, which serves as their punishment. When individuals are allowed to grow up without proper education and moral guidance, only to be later punished for the behaviors ingrained in them since childhood, it begs the question, are they not being set up to fail? Penalizing someone for their honesty can lead them to resort to deception. There are two types of power, one attained through instilling fear of punishment and the other through acts of love. Power rooted in love is vastly more impactful and enduring than that which relies on fear. If life is viewed as a punishment, one might long for its end. Yet, if it's seen as a test, one might desire its brevity. God has proclaimed with unwavering conviction that a grave retribution looms over certain individuals. The pressing question remains, could you be among those who face this impending punishment? Stay tuned until the very end, and you will discern for yourself the individuals who bear accountability for this forthcoming judgment. Every action we undertake carries weighty consequences, underscoring the importance of ensuring that our deeds are virtuous and just. In the imminent future, a momentous judgment will befall all nations universally. However, preceding the glorious return of Jesus Christ, God is meeting out retribution upon those who have strayed from righteousness. This admonition is not intended to instill fear, but rather to implore you to ponder deeply upon your actions and their ramifications. Aligning our actions with righteousness is imperative, for the punishment forewarned is not capricious. Rather, it is the natural outcome of actions that contravene God's divine will and inflict harm upon others. It serves as a clarion call for introspection, prompting us to scrutinize our actions and repent if necessary, seeking forgiveness for any transgressions committed. The Bible imparts invaluable wisdom regarding the repercussions of our deeds, as articulated in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. This admonition underscores the principle that our actions yield consequences, whether beneficial or detrimental. Furthermore, God, in His infinite compassion, addresses us directly, acknowledging our struggles and the adversity we face daily. He empathizes with the pain inflicted by our adversaries and their attempts to inflict harm upon us. Even in your darkest moments, I am ever present. My promise in the scripture stands firm. I will never forsake you. You will not suffer at the hands of your adversaries, for I, your loving Father, am steadfast in my care for you. Darkness shall not prevail, for I am not a deity of malevolence. I do not permit it to reign over you or this world. Even when you cannot discern the path out of your troubles, can you not trust in my guidance? Do you doubt my capacity to deliver you from harm? My beloved children, how many times must I demonstrate my love and faithfulness to you? Yet, despite all my interventions, doubts persist in your hearts. Some question my fidelity and doubt my omnipotence. When will you firmly stand in your faith and place your trust in me? Though you may be easily swayed by the challenges of this world and overwhelmed by your physical senses, understand that I am ever present for you. My word stands firm, and I have demonstrated my power through countless miracles and breakthroughs in your lives. Yet, despite my interventions, some among you have doubted me. When will you realize that nothing surpasses my greatness? I implore you to trust me wholeheartedly, to have unwavering faith that I will always be there for you. Do not allow doubt to cloud your judgment. Instead, focus on my promises and believe in my capability to fulfill them. 
While there are individuals who have strayed from the path of righteousness and face serious consequences, fear not, for I am a just and merciful God. As a merciful God, it is true that there will be consequences for those who have chosen to walk in darkness. However, I offer a way out for those who turn to me in repentance. My love for you knows no bounds, and I yearn for all my children to find their way back to me. If they continue to refuse to return to me, the devil will lead them to terrible places. He is not interested in their well-being. His sole aim is to destroy them. The devil will use every trick at his disposal to trap and mislead those who turn away from me. His path leads only to sadness, suffering, and eternal separation from me. Remember, I am your loving Father, and I will never abandon you. Trust in me and turn back to me, for I am always here ready to welcome you with open arms. My beloved children, I am here to guide you through life's challenges. You are never alone, for I am always by your side, ready to help you overcome any obstacle. Place your trust in me, and I will lead you to victory. Believe in my power, and I will deliver you from harm. Remember, you are my beloved children, and I will always protect you. Do not focus on the enemy, for he is nothing compared to me. Even if governments fall and chaos erupts in many places, do not be dismayed. It may seem like corruption is winning and darkness is prevailing, but I assure you that I am in control. When things intensify and darkness looms, know that it is your enemy's attempt to weaken and ruin you. But hear my words and take heed. You are strong in me. Do not let fear or doubt cloud your judgment. Stand firm in your faith, for I am with you always, guiding you through the storms of life. Trust in my love and my promises, for I will never forsake you. My plan is stronger than theirs. When they try to make you weak, I will make you stronger. When they try to trick you, I will give you my truth, and that truth will set you free from all of their traps. I am using people all over the world, anointing and appointing them for this hour. But they are nothing without my power. Gain your strength through me, demonstrate your faith and trust in me. For this is how you will find peace and strength in the midst of life's storms. Never forget that I love you always, now and forever. Bring people back to me, and I will forgive their sins, says the Lord. Share this message with every single person you know. Let us take part in bringing glory to the Lord. No, dear child of God, that the punishment God speaks of isn't just about retribution. It's about correction and restoration. It's about God's love for us, wanting us to live in alignment with His will and experience His abundant life. We may wonder why God allows suffering and punishment. The Bible tells us in Romans 5 verse 8, But God demonstrates His own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God's ultimate act of love was sending His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins, offering us forgiveness and salvation. However, God calls us to live a holy and righteous life. As 1 Peter 1 verses 15 to 16 says, But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy, because I am holy. This underscores the importance of living in accordance with God's will and his standards. So how do we know if we are among those facing punishment? It's not about living in constant fear, but about examining our lives in the light of God's truth. Are we living according to His commandments? Are we treating others with love and compassion? Are we seeking His guidance and following His leading? If we find areas where we have fallen short, there is hope. God is merciful and offers forgiveness to all who sincerely repent. In 1 John 1 verse 9, it says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Indeed. These narratives exemplify the biblical principle of divine retribution in response to disobedience and transgression, underscoring the significance of adhering to God's laws and seeking repentance. Adam and Eve's expulsion from Eden, this story marks the beginning of humanity's journey on earth. Adam and Eve, the first humans, are placed in the Garden of Eden and given only one prohibition, not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. However, Tempted by the serpent, they disobey God's command and eat the forbidden fruit. As a result, they are expelled from paradise and humanity is subjected to hardship, toil, and mortality. The Great Flood, the narrative of Noah's Ark, is one of the most well-known in the Bible. God, grieved by the wickedness of humanity, 
decides to flood the earth and start anew. He instructs Noah, a righteous man, to build an ark and take his family and pairs of animals on board. The flood waters wipe out all life on earth, sparing only those aboard the ark. After the flood recedes, God establishes a covenant with Noah, promising never again to destroy the earth in the same way. The destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah are notorious for their depravity and sinfulness. When God determines to destroy them, Abraham pleads for mercy, but ultimately only Lot and his family are spared. Angels warn Lot to flee the cities before they are consumed by fire and brimstone as a divine judgment against their wickedness. The Plagues of Egypt The book of Exodus recounts the story of Moses leading the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt. Pharaoh's refusal to let the Israelites go prompts God to send a series of plagues upon Egypt, each more severe than the last. These plagues, including locusts, frogs, and darkness, culminate in the death of the firstborn sons. The Israelites are ultimately liberated from bondage and begin their journey to the Promised Land. The Israelites' wanderings in the wilderness. After leaving Egypt, the Israelites embark on a journey through the wilderness toward the land God promised them. However, their lack of faith and disobedience lead to consequences. They grumble against God and Moses, worship idols, and rebel against God's leadership. As a result, they wander in the wilderness for 40 years until a new generation arises, faithful and ready to enter the Promised Land. The Babylonian Exile The prophets Jeremiah and Ezekiel warn the Israelites of impending judgment if they continue in their disobedience and idolatry. Despite their warnings, the people persist in their unfaithfulness, and God allows the Babylonians to conquer Jerusalem and exile the Israelites to Babylon. The exile serves as a period of punishment, reflection, and purification for the nation of Israel. These tales highlight themes of divine judgment, obedience, repentance, and redemption, underscoring the importance of living in alignment with God's will and trusting in His mercy and grace. Here are some direct words and a promise from the divine. This message carries age-old wisdom, offering you the tools to unlock the mysteries of your innermost self. The divine speaks. Today, I observe the shadows lengthening across your path, the doubts that nibble at your heart, and the anxieties that clutch your soul. Yet, I assure you, do not be afraid, for I am not the architect of your current challenges. The arrows that afflict you do not originate from me. They are the fiery arrows of the adversary, seeking to wound you and lead you astray from my boundless love. Do not confuse the whispers of the adversary with my divine guidance. Instead, embrace the truth with love and forgiveness, for these are the waters that drown out bitterness and resentment. Let compassion be your compass, guiding you through the storms of life. Trust in my grace to carry you through the trials and tribulations that lie ahead. As you walk in faith, know that you are not alone, for I am with you always, my child. Trust in my plan, for it is one of hope and redemption. Let go of fear and embrace the journey that lies ahead, for in surrendering to my will, you will find true freedom and peace. These festering wounds, nurtured by frustration and misunderstanding, block the flow of my peace and joy in your life. Let go of them, child. Release them to me and let me cleanse and heal your wounded spirit. Know that you are not alone, for I am ever present with you. I have not abandoned you in your hour of need. Healing is your portion this day, a healing that reaches the deepest recesses of your being. The yoke I have prepared for you is easy, and the burden I offer is light. Come out from under the weight of your own expectations and the crushing concerns of this world. Fix your eyes not on the enemy schemes, but on the glorious future I am crafting for you. My word is steadfast and true, and my promises will never fail you. Though the world may turn its back on you, and even those closest to you may falter in their support, I remain your unwavering anchor. Feel my arms wrap securely around you, offering comfort and strength. Breathe in my peace, let it saturate your being, and exhale all fear, worry, and doubt. I am your hope, your refuge, and your ever-present source of strength. Your prayers have reached my ears, and I have heard your cry for help. Your deliverance is at hand, and your foot will not falter. The abyss of despair may loom large, but I offer you a path of trust and confidence, leading you upwards to a place of victory and joy. Walk with me, child, 
and you will not be disappointed. I will guide you, protect you, and ultimately bring you into the fullness of my plan for your life. This is my word to you today. Remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. You were never meant to be an obscurantist hiding away from the world. I have called you into the mainstream, into the center of influence, so that you may touch many lives of my name. The enemy has worked tirelessly to sideline you, to keep you isolated and out of touch with others. Through difficult circumstances, he has tried to make you indifferent to the cries of those around you. But fear not, for I am changing all of that. Others around you, in their deception, suggest and accuse that your prophetic gifting is a farce orchestrated by the enemy. Never listen to your critics. Listening to the voice of your detractors has led you to be bound by opinions, trapped by a judgmental and critical spirit. I am bringing you to freedom this day from all such impediments to your destiny. I see you are exhausted and compromised in your own heart. However, I want you to know that I am renewing you and restoring my merciful heart on the inside of you toward those around you. My heart is a heart where mercy triumphs over judgment. You belong to the tribe of Judah, which means praise, not the tribe of Dan, which speaks of judgment and condemnation. You are not called to be a lawgiver who pronounces judgment and predicts punishment on others. Give mercy, and I will pour out my mercy and favor on you in a new way. The message of the kingdom that I have entrusted to you is indeed a message of repentance. It is through my goodness that I draw people towards repentance. There is a time for mercy and a time for severity, but never despise my goodness or withhold the prospects of my goodness toward those who are out of the way and in trouble spiritually. It is through my goodness that your anointing flows, bringing people out of darkness and guiding them towards a new walk with me. Let go of the false expectations imposed upon you by others. Reject the burden of negativity that they have placed upon you. Instead, embrace the calling to be an encourager that I have always placed upon you. In doing so, you will become a repairer of broken relationships and a restorer of the paths for my people to walk in. There is no need to fear stepping out into the mainstream and being seen and heard. I am with you every step of the way, guiding and protecting you. Embrace your calling and let my mercy and goodness flow through you. You can bring hope to the hopeless, healing to the broken, and restoration to the lost. Believe in the potential that I see in you, for you are capable of making a profound impact on the lives of many. Do not be discouraged by the darkness around you, for the light within you is stronger. Rise up, my child, and let your light shine brightly for all to see, into a new place of latitude and indulgence. I am not a stingy God. I am an indulgent God, and I am indulging you in blessing and unconditional favor. You haven't earned it, and it's not based on your worth or moral excellence. I'm blessing you because I love you. Change is at hand, and change, repentance, only genuinely comes about through my goodness. I am a good God. I am all-knowing. Nothing about your life, even in secret, escapes my scrutiny, yet I love you still and I'm sweeping away the refuse of bad decisions and steps stumbled in darkness. I am bringing you out into my glorious light and deliverance. I am moving toward you with outstretched hands and a loving heart to take you to myself, so that you might be changed and brought more perfectly into my image. As I bring you forth, you are going to know that I am a God with a sense of humor. I will cause you to laugh. I will fill your mouth with laughter. I invented laughter and mirth and joy. Those who think being somber and sober is the only way to reflect spirituality are wrong. Laughingly wrong. They have me all wrong. I invented lightheartedness. I declare over you this day, my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. If what is going on around you isn't yoke easy, burden light, then it isn't the assignment I chose for you. I will not relent, says God. I am not willing for you to move forward without rest, without joy, and without life that only I can give. Your testimony in the midst of my greatness will be, it can't be that easy, can it? Yes, beloved, it is that easy to get along with me. Those who portray me otherwise are misinformed. Receive the yoke easy and the burden light. Even this day, I restore your joy and fill your mouth with laughter. Change is coming into your life and will be a change for the better. Repentance is not about punishment or condemnation. It is about turning away from the things that are holding you back and turning towards me, the source of all good things. Let us now pray together. Heavenly Father, 
We come before you with humility, acknowledging our weaknesses and shortcomings. Today, we recognize that we have strayed from your path and have fallen short of your glory. Forgive us, Lord, for the times when we have ignored your guidance and followed our own desires. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness and renew our steadfast spirit within us. Lord, we thank you for your unwavering love and mercy, even when we go astray. You never abandon us. You are always there, ready to welcome us back with open arms. Help us to turn away from our sinful ways and to walk in your light. Strengthen us, Lord, to resist the temptations of the evil one. Guide us in the paths of righteousness and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Lord, we come before you acknowledging our weakness and our need for your strength. When the enemy seeks to weaken us, empower us with your spirit. Fill us with your strength and courage so that we may stand firm against the schemes of the enemy. Help us to put on the full armor of God that we may be able to withstand his attacks. When the enemy seeks to deceive us, illuminate our minds with your truth. Open our eyes to see through the lies and deceptions of the enemy. Let your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Guide us in your truth and lead us on the path of righteousness. We praise you, Lord, for your faithfulness and steadfast love. You are our rock, our fortress, our refuge, and our friend. You alone are worthy of all praise and adoration. Help us to lift up your name high and to exalt you in all that we do. As we come together in prayer today, may your Holy Spirit move among us, uniting our hearts in love and fellowship. May your presence fill this place, and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We offer this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. My child, stop for a second and answer me. Why are you fighting me for controlling your life right now? Like others, there's an area or two at least where you're still fighting me with God for control. It may be that I'm calling you to let go of something. Maybe it's something bad. Maybe there's a sin in your life that I'm calling you to let go. Maybe it's something good that you're holding on to. And I'm saying, I've got something better for you, but you're going to have to trust me. You're going to have to let me rule and you're fighting me for control. So when you have those places in your life where you're fighting me for control, you have to learn to let go and trust me. And this is the faith that freedom comes through surrender. Victory comes through submission. It's all backward. It's different than what the world tells you. A man in order to catch a baboon went to a termite mound. He discovers their hardness. The man drills a hole and places a small silver trinket inside. The curious baboon, witnessing the process, descends the tree, inserts its hand and grabs the trinket but can't retract its fist. The man seizes the opportunity, approaches the frantic baboon, and despite its wild reactions, all it needs to do to escape is let go. The man then secures the baboon with a noose and takes it into captivity. I wonder, don't you think Satan wants to take some of you, or all of you, to captivity using the thing that you're afraid to let go? You think he doesn't want to keep you a slave to sin? It's time to give it up. All you've to do is let it go. Let go of the way you thought it was supposed to go. Let go. Sometimes it is a letting go that feels like death, but it's really a blessing, the blessing of letting go. What is it that you're trying to control that I want you to surrender? I can do way more through your surrender than you can ever do through your control. I can do way more. That which is on your heart is always better in my hand. You don't always have the power to control, but you do always have the power to surrender. And I promise you, I can do way more through your surrender than you can ever do through your control. Surrender means not your way, but my way. You wonder what I would call you to surrender today. I've already speaking to you and calling you to surrender something to you. And it's time to say, Father, not my way, but your way. I surrender this to you. I'm going to be real and open and honest about my struggle. And I'm going to get through it with you. I'm not going to try to do it on my own anymore. Will you let me be God? Will you let me be your divine father? But you've got to learn how to lose control. Honestly, it will come after realizing that I've got a God who is awesome, 
who's mighty, who's powerful, who's great, who is indescribable, knowing that I have him being in control versus me having stuff in my hands and trying to control it. Because in my hands, I guarantee I mess it up. But in his hands, it's going to be all right. Just trust me and let it be what's going to be. Then you could reflect on the fact that, hey, if God be for me, then who in the world can be against me? And even though things don't look like how you want them to look, and even though you don't feel how up want to feel, and even though you don't got the most money in the bank, here's what you must going to do. I must still remain faithful and obedient. Because I know I can sit back, trust God. Because if this is where he has me, then there must be something for me. One of the lessons that you must learn was how to sit and trust. Sit and trust. People will let you down. Companies will fail. The government won't keep its promises. But I will never let you down. I will never fail. No matter what you are going through or what you do go through, place your trust in me. When you are in the middle of unimaginable circumstances and it feels like all hope is lost, trust in me. Cling to my word. Look at my track record. What I've done before, I can do again. I was faithful then and I'm faithful now. If you want to follow me, if you're going to completely surrender to me, it requires saying, I'm and will give you everything, all of it. Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I give you all that I have and all I am. I trust you. I want you to think of that, your biggest problem right now. You know, the thing that wakes you up in the middle of the night, the thing you wake up stressed about in the morning, the thing that you're biting your nails for, that you're constantly anxious about that big problem that you don't see a solution for. You've got that picture in your mind right now. Okay, now what I want you to do is come into that position of surrender, where you're raising your hands and you're closing your eyes, raise your hands like this, I surrender. And then I want you, in your mind's eye, to picture yourself walking up to the cross and laying that big problem down at the foot of the cross. Beloved child, heed these words for they resonate from the very essence of your Divine Father's heart. You find yourself at a pivotal juncture, not due to the external forces that assail you, but because of the sovereign power within you. The impediment to your desired destination lies not in the challenges or opposition you face, but in the narratives you weave within your being. You are the architect of your destiny, and it is time to dismantle the illusions you've crafted, the excuses that veil your true potential. Look within, and you will recognize the genesis of your current state. The whispers of weariness, the cries of fatigue, and the tales of inadequacy are but concoctions of a self-imposed prison. Today, divine empowerment flows through you as you cast aside the veil of deception. Acknowledge that the path of least resistance is a fleeting comfort, providing warmth but birthing long-term tribulations. Embrace the notion that your life, your pursuits, your aspirations will attain a sublime sweetness when treaded upon the arduous path, the path you inherently know you're capable of navigating with unwavering resolve. Rise above the feeble musings that haunt your mind during moments of lethargy or despair. Silence them with a resounding declaration that you are the master of your thoughts. Banish the feeble and usher in the vision of triumph that accompanies the completion of each task. Recognize that within the execution of your mission, you are not merely accomplishing tasks, but sculpting an unyielding belief in yourself, your purpose, and your divine mission on this earthly realm. That inner voice, the bearer of doubts and whispers of defeat, is a cunning deceiver. Rebuke it with the assertiveness of a true warrior, proclaiming not today, for I am the master of my destiny. Understand that your comfort zone is a clandestine labyrinth, concealing dreams that wither away in its stagnant air. Embrace the discomfort, for within it, greatness is conceived, legends are forged, and your true potential unfolds. As you embark on this transformative journey, set goals that stretch the very fabric of your existence goals, that induce discomfort yet propel you toward unprecedented heights. Cultivate routines that demand disciplined action, making the execution of these habits non-negotiable. Pledge an unwavering commitment to your dreams and aspirations, awakening each day with the hunger of one who has yet to taste success. In this pursuit, eschew the allure of excuses and the siren call of momentary ease. Recognize that the decisions you make today, every single day, 
mold and redefine the tapestry of your being. You are not destined to be confined by your current state. You possess the power to shape and reshape, to evolve and transcend. Discipline is your ally, and within it, the crucible of transformation awaits. Suffocate the excuses that linger and embark on a relentless journey of self-discovery. Resolve to take control, for the only impediment standing in your way is you. The culmination of your dreams and aspirations lies not in the distant tomorrow, but in the actions you take today. Lay aside the shackles of indecision, unfurl the wings of discipline, and soar into the realms of your true potential. You are not a victim of circumstance. You are the orchestrator of your destiny. In the crucible of challenges, in the face of adversity, you can emerge victorious. Embrace the hardships, for within them, your resilience is forged. Remember, the journey toward your aspirations is not for the faint-hearted. It demands fortitude, a willingness to endure, and an unyielding spirit. You are not alone, the Divine Father's guidance intertwines with your efforts. You can win, not despite the circumstances, but because of the indomitable spirit within you. Release the grip of excuses, cease the incessant complaints, and catapult yourself beyond the limitations of your own will. Harness the strength within, for you possess the power to emerge victorious. This is your clarion call, a summons to rise above the mundane and step into the realm of your greatness. The time for strength is now, and through this strength, through your unyielding will, you shall become the embodiment of your deepest desires. Here comes the message Father is talking about, and after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. I have a plan for you, and no matter who opposes it, this plan must come to fruition. Have you heard it? There's no reason to keep gathering the breadcrumbs others have thrown your way. You have your own blessings and a heavenly Father who welcomes you into his arms with love. He heals you, raises you up, prospers you, and always watches over you. Those who caused your stumbling will regret it. Those who underestimated you will learn a lesson they will never forget. For raising their hand against you, I stand by those I love, and I will make all your enemies flee. I'm clearing the path of obstacles and conflicts for you, so make the most of your time. Don't lock yourself in your room, crying over a past that's gone. Don't shout into the wind, for it cannot hear you. Stop yearning for the false arms of those who despised, despise and try to destroy you. I hope you don't love those ungrateful ones more than you love me. Here, by my side, you will find life, happiness you never had before, and an emotion so beautiful that you didn't even know it existed. I have a powerful reason for you to live, and I am opening this path that will lead you to your dreams. You no longer need to look back. There's no one in your past who loves you as much as I do, who wishes only good for you, who can bless you and guide you Embrace the security of feeling loved and protected by a supernatural God. I'm not asking for material things like gold, silver, or precious stones. What moves me is your faith and sincerity. You have the desire to change. You want to live your life as you should, making the most of every minute and using your talents and resources to bless others, starting with your family. You desire in your heart to tell them, world that there is love, forgiveness, salvation, a way, a truth, and that in my presence, they will find the strength they need to rise again and start over. Leave the past behind, make the decision for yourself, and if you need help, know that I am willing to extend my hand. I will forever remove anything that hinders your path. So don't be sad when you no longer receive notifications from manipulative tongues. I gave my life on the cross to give you freedom. You were not born to live in emotional bondage, to endure the screams and despise of false loves. You won't miss those who hurt you anymore. It's been a difficult season, but the results of the opposition has been an increase in your faith and determination to see my will accomplished in the earth. 
Your time has been well spent as you have learned to trust me on deeper levels and many times with life-altering situations. But I am turning all these things around and working them all together for your good. You love me and are called according to my purposes. So I am releasing a fresh wind of my spirit that it moving now more profoundly in your life. Even if you don't yet recognize it, be expectant, because when I raise up a standard against the enemy, he has no recourse against my tsunami wave of glory that has been building and growing and increasingly moving towards you. When I move, everything changes. Now that you are growing and coming to a place of maturity, when you not only understand what I say, but also my purposes behind it. What my desires have always been to be your provider and do you good all the days of your life. I created a beautiful, joyous, wondrous garden and am calling you back to it. I am calling you back to all that I had planned for you from the beginning. Arise now, my child, and stand up firm on your feet, for today the victory is coming to you in a new way. You are an overcomer and it is time to pursue, overtake and recover all. The thief has been found and is required to pay sevenfold, even all of his house. Therefore appropriate what belongs to you by knowing and understanding what my will is and go about doing good and healing all that are oppressed of the devil, for I am with you. I am giving you a spirit of love, self-control, courage and honesty. If you have to face people from your past or walk through the flames where you once burned, don't fear. I am by your side. You will shut the mouths of lions, defeat mocking enemies, walk through fire and your clothes, hair and feet will not suffer the pain they did before. Today, in my holy name, you will face those conflicts and in my Holy Spirit, you will overcome them. Tell me with faith that you believe in me. Activate your faith, nurture your soul with my word and remember all my holy promises. They are your shield and sword when facing adversity. Who is with you? The Almighty God, Omnipotent, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Majestic in power and authority. I give you the strength to overcome. Answer me. I want to hear you. Feel how these words reignite the faith that was once dim and rekindles the flames of your desire to triumph. Listen, receive and believe. There is no bad habit or vice you cannot conquer. The enemy has no power over you and you must create it because neither sorcery, witchcraft, spells nor curses can harm you. The armies of evil surround you, but they are just making noise, uttering empty threats. They want you to fear, because fear is the only thing that can stop you. Rise, brave heart. I'm giving you authority. Stand upon the conflicts that came to steal your happiness. Today, your chains are broken. The discouragement that weighed you down, the emotions that battered you, and the memories that hurt you will all end. Give me your hand and let's walk together towards success and blessings. Tomorrow, come to me again and I will give you even more living water from the eternal rock, my Holy Spirit to fill you with love that surrounds you and my supernatural presence that will never leave you. I'll tell you once more because I know that when you hear it, you receive joy and peace. I love you. You need love. Come to the safe place every morning. I'm waiting to dress you with affection, cover you with protection, to embrace you with a sweet hug of love. Take your hand and like a caring parent, lead you to my table. I will nourish you with divine words, give you great strength, clean your face, tidy your hair, and give you a bag full of new desires. We will go out together to live and fight. I love to see you're happy and confident. 
Face because you know that you are not alone. You know that I will defend you, no matter what happens. Even as we go through dangerous paths and deep valleys, I will be there, and you can look at me with those trusting eyes. I will never let go of your hand. Let's continue walking. We will start to climb until we reach the top of a new mountain. There you will find the victories that are already yours, and you will receive a new purpose. I will renew your hopes. The sun shining in your future will etch the beautiful blessings you are about to receive on your skin. You are no longer the same. Your face shines with happiness. Your legs are strong. Your feet are light. Your arms can bear great burdens, and your character will shine even brighter than steel. I will continue with you throughout the journey, but you will reach your destination. First, you must learn to walk by faith and not by sight. It will make me very happy when you can trust me with all your heart, even when you don't see me and despite the problems that come your way. Don't be afraid, I am with you no matter what. You will have such great security in knowing that I will never abandon you and you will continue fulfilling your purpose and responsibilities without stopping or getting discouraged. With this burning and living faith that ignites your desire to succeed, you will overcome any challenge, whether you have abundance or need, whether your body is in good health or struggling with illness, whether your family supports you or your loved ones have abandoned you. Remember this promise in your soul Believe and trust. I am the Almighty God who fulfills what He promises. I don't break my contracts or lie. I am a consuming fire. But for those who truly believe in me and give me their hearts, I am sweet and eternal love, patient and understanding. I rejoice in your repentance, reward you with forgiveness, and cleanse your heart. Even if you have failed, Keep walking. Come to me with confidence. It is not my purpose to hurt you because of your mistakes. And even if you have to face the consequences of your errors, I will help you. You will continue on and I will take away your burdens. Do not be swayed by your emotions when you feel discouraged. Persist and do not give up. You are on the verge of seeing how much I love you and I will always love you. What do I need to do to convince you? I will take your hand, kiss your forehead, and tell you again how much I love you. But now, in a way that you will feel it deeply, you will sense the sacred aroma of this supernatural love that surrounds you. I am removing your worries and immersing you in a beautiful, wonderful, eternal, holy, and healing emotion that will never leave you. This emotion is called love, and if you haven't felt it before, get used to it because I am filling your heart with joy and life. I love you, and this emotion will grow every minute. Your tranquility will increase each day. Your whole being is transforming. The world seeks peace and freedom, People want to be free from disappointments and the fear of loneliness. But every time I reach out to them, they run in the opposite direction, rejecting this powerful love that can transform their lives, give them the courage to reach their dreams and renew their desire to live. I planted in them the sensation that tells them they are not on the right path. They need to come back to me, return home and turn away from evil. There in the world, there will be only anguish and suffering. Your eternal life, divine peace and infinite happiness are with me. I can tell you again, I love you and I am placing little and beautiful details on your path. Today, refine your senses. Feel, receive, perceive, feel it again. Treasure this sweet sensation of this eternal love that covers you. This is something supernatural that goes beyond seeing and hearing. It's an inexplicable emotion that fills you 
makes you feel like you're flying above the clouds and transforms you. It removes what hinders you. My power is manifesting not only in your emotions, but in your character and attitude. You will no longer be a tree without fruit, a flower without fragrance, or a river without water. You will not suffer from double-mindedness, and you will not live in a cycle of mistakes. My glory surrounds you, comforting you and giving you wisdom. Do your part and come to me in faith. Fill yourself with my word. Open your Bible every day and read. Do it again. Do not give up. Persist. This is the real miracle I want to perform. That you have peace, receive my love, end your distress and feel well. Enjoy my presence. Do not feel lonely. Let words and phrases that edify and heal flow from your mind and lips. Let your gaze shine with love and patience. Treat your family well. A miracle without fruits is like a glass without water, a plate without food, a night without sleep. I never perform supernatural works to impress anyone. Many claim miracles that seem real and powerful but their lives and words communicate confusion, hatred, and emptiness. Those who do not, love do not know me, for I am love. Do not worry, I will help you forgive, forget, be patient, and give everyone a chance. Don't let them belittle you, instead, treat them with the value and respect they deserve. Some around you may not understand this divine love anymore. Their hearts have grown cold. They say they believe in me, but no longer have faith that I have the power to work miracles. Do not worry if they do not wish to believe. Let them remain locked in their world, where only they are perfect and point fingers at everyone. They say they know me, but their behavior offends me. I will speak to their lives. You keep walking your path, keep praying, loving, doing good to others, without looking at who they are. If they offend you, forgive them again, and if you cannot forgive, kneel in my presence. I will give you the strength, my Holy Spirit will come upon you and fill you with patience and understanding. You already have victory in all your battles, just come and claim it with faith and in prayer with your hands extended. I want to pour my powerful blessing into your life. I will keep showing my love to you in many ways. While you live in this world, you are in my presence. You and your family are important to me, both on earth and in heaven. My power will manifest in thousands of families receiving this word. They will be restored and greatly blessed. Every home that loves me will be illuminated by my divine presence. Amen. My beloved child, today you radiate with joy and happiness, and you are about to receive grace from kind-hearted souls who will share their own blessings with you. I urge you to proclaim to everyone who strengthens you and loves you deeply. Speak with confidence, and from your lips shall flow words of life and hope. You shall never stray far from me, never lose sight of this sign, that I have given you the forgiveness of your sins, made possible by my shed blood, which cleanses you and grants you eternal life. I shall delight in being your father, and you shall revel in the gifts and wonders bestowed upon you. By me your descendants shall be blessed and numerous, like the grains of sand by the sea. Know that I remain the same, the one who loved you and gazed upon you with mercy yesterday, who loves you more with each passing day. Your future rests in my hands, but I require your faith. I implore you not to ignore this message. Do not underestimate this medium through which I speak. I have chosen humble-hearted individuals to bring you my word and proclaim it to the world. These three beautiful and divine words, God is good. I was, am, and forever, 
shall be your dearest love and kindness. I am good because I am also the author and creator of faith. With my hands, I signaled the creation of the universe, and with my wisdom, I established the boundaries of the stars, the galaxies, and all the elements necessary for your existence. Dot, you were formed from dust, and one day, your earthly body shall return to dust, while your spirit patiently awaits by my side for the appointed time. I shall transform your dust-made body into a holy, eternal, indestructible one. Everything in your life has a purpose. You are my greatest treasure and in my hands. I loved you when you were distant and I shall continue to love you despite any mistakes. I remain the same yesterday, today and for all eternity. My mind does not waver. I personally sought you when you felt disappointed and sought an easy way out of your pain. I showed you that life and peace are not behind a false facade. You must persevere through the process, face suffering, and place your faith in my word. Walk without faltering, holding my hand so you may reach the long desired freedom and triumph. Reclaim the conviction that you are a person of great worth. I witnessed your tears and wept alongside you as a true friend so you would feel safe and choose to keep fighting. Because I fight alongside you, I assist you when you ask, and I fight for you when you are weary. My heavenly army stands guard around you when you feel exhausted dot at tea times. You do not even realize the countless things I have saved you from. I will open your eyes to the supernatural world so you can witness my warrior angels fighting fierce battles to protect you. I have saved you from deadly accidents, halted disease at your doorstep, confused the intentions of criminals and thieves, and rebuked the enemy of your soul when it sought to devour you. I reaffirm my love for you, remind you that no matter what happens, you are still under my shelter and love. But with affection, I also ask that you no longer be troubled or filled with fear when problems arise that you told me that you would trust me and not react to what people are saying. Know that I have surrounded you with my arms and no threats or lies from others can harm you. There are levels of faith, maturity and wisdom and you are at the highest where I have placed you. Higher up where you are, disputes and provocations cannot touch you. They seek your reaction, aiming to steal your inner peace. They know that if they succeed, your thoughts will run wild, uncontrollable, and you may harm those in your path. Therefore, I urge you to accept my peace. It is merely a matter of faith, of taking time in silence. Wherever you are, speak my word in your thoughts or aloud. The power of my promises will break your chains and I will remove from you the bad habit of getting nervous and worried about any lies you hear. Even if they were true, you should not lose your peace. When bad news comes, you shall face it with strength and your head held high. I have spoken to your soul and given you the assurance that I will always be with you. Those who attack you believe that no one is protecting you and that their words can harm you but do not believe them. Do not allow their lies to occupy your mind and heart. I will give you the strength to overcome these enemies, and even if you make mistakes, I will always listen with affection to your repentant heart. Believe me in this as well. If you distance yourself from error and those harmful acquaintances, you will truly be happy and highly blessed. Of choice, whom do you want to believe? I have asked you this many times, and I know you are human. But now understand that I am God. You bring the faith, and I possess the power. You may be weak at times, and I wish to assist you always. I have safeguarded your family from dire situations, and will continue to protect them. But I want you 
and your entire household to seek me. Believe in my word and receive the complete blessing of my holy promises. Speak to them, please, and let them know that I am aware of their lives and have a special plan that must be fulfilled. Tell them not to feel bad or become sad if they think they have lost something, a material possession, a friend, a job, or their plans that fell apart. Repeat these words to them. Everything happens for a reason. Our beloved God is in control. In the end, even things that seem negative will work in our favor. Don't seek me every day. Give thanks in all circumstances, both good and bad, and believe me, when I say this, marvelous miracles will happen when your hearts are filled with praise. Deliver my message to them. Tell them not to worry, that everything will be fine. A time of great blessings is coming for your family, and you dot, you have kept the faith, and you stand strong. I am ready to bless you. You are well prepared to receive all that I have prepared for you. I also want your troubled times to be left behind and for you to cast aside the feeling of being a failure. Let me declare something to you. None of my sons and daughters is a failure, and you will never be one. I love you, I care for you, I prepare you, and I correct you. If you fall, you rise, if you make mistakes, you confess, and I forgive you with patience and love. You stand up, shake off the dust, and continue with your faith in my word and your eyes fixed on the goal. My daughters and sons make mistakes, but they persist the humility and ability to acknowledge their faults, receive my forgiveness, and leave behind all feelings of defeat and guilt. You have never been a failure. The enemy knows how you feel and has taken advantage to steal from you and to harm you. But everything that was stolen from you shall return. I want you to become accustomed to living a life of emotional freedom. Stop blaming yourself for past events and do not punish yourself by denying the opportunity to succeed. I want you to keep growing in your faith and learn to depend more on me. I will instruct you to do things that may seem impossible to you. Understand, my child, that I have chosen you to be a channel of blessing to all those you love. Step into the abundant embrace of my presence that surrounds you like a warm, comforting blanket. Begin with the melody of praise, allowing it to rise until it becomes a symphony of worship. In the cadence of your worship, the glory will unfurl. Stand, dear one. Stand in the glorious light that emanates from my heart. Know this, my cherished one, my plans for you are unwavering, and I have not altered the course set for your life. Picture me standing and waiting, ready to pour out blessings that match the depth of your praise and the fervor of your worship. You're about to witness what others have only dreamed of seeing. The high places of my presence are to be your dwelling, not just a fleeting visitation. Do not settle for occasional glimpses. Embrace the glorious dwelling I have prepared for you. Shake off any hesitation, sweet child. Take control of your emotions, focus your thoughts, and let every fiber of your being magnify praise and worship. In this abandoned heart, you will witness the extraordinary unfold. You are the one chosen and dearly loved. I appoint you as the apple of my eye, drawing you close into my unyielding protection, lavish provision and divine purpose like never before. Hear me, for today is a new dawn and a fresh pathway has unveiled itself before you. Embrace it with anticipation, knowing that this new way has found you. Rejoice, for I am with you every step and your journey is marked by promises fulfilled and assurances that stand unshakable. You are cherished, guided and destined for greatness. Trust in this, for I choose you 
and in my choosing, you find immeasurable joy and boundless purpose. However, I want you to be cautious about what enters your ears and what your eyes see. I want my word to take precedence. Nourish yourself in it. Immerse yourself in my Holy Spirit, whether by reading, listening, speaking, writing, or singing. Whatever I inspire you to do, do it in spirit and in truth. Learn to manage it. I will bestow great blessings upon you, but you must care for them. I will not lift you up so you feel overly important and become conceited. The authority I will grant you, if you want my blessings to multiply, must be used with humility. Do not allow gossip or slander against anyone. Never raise your hand or soil your tongue to harm those who esteem, help or provide you with employment through which you earn your bread. Put your effort into working, serving and being a blessing to those around you, your family and to others. I have chosen you to bear fruit, to go where I send you, to let prosperity and blessing flow in your household. I have come to speak to you as a friend. If you want to see a change in your life, you must decide to obey me and walk with me. Tell me that you will. You are entering a new stage, and if you want, you will succeed. I have chosen you to be a warrior, to bring your family forward, to lead you from victory to victory, to for my presence to accompany you in all your triumphs, from glory to glory through your praise. My dear child, I love you, champion of champions. I will bless you. I did not make a mistake when I chose you. I know what I'm doing because I want you to understand how much I love you. Together with my servants, you shall return to this earth to confront the armies of darkness. Prepare yourself, for one day you shall reign alongside me. But until that day comes, never cease to pray. Seek me relentlessly. I desire your commitment to fulfill my will. Tell me now, in your own words, that you will always love me. Amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.